nothing about this movie works for me on any level. What did you think about this movie? Bad. Roger Vadim, the French director who uncovered Bardot, now presents his tribute to the high school girls of America. Welcome to Colin Day vs. The Machine Video Edition. Oh, right into it. Yes, that's right. The moment, the moment you've all been waiting for, Pretty Maids all in a row. What are our thoughts and feelings, Dave? What did you think about, again, I'm going to use quotes, movie. What did you think about this movie? Bad. Would you qualify <laughs> that as very bad? You want me that's to how I would do it. Own word. Yes, it's very bad. It's not a movie, and this is it's so prudish as I'm learning about myself that I am, but this is what we would consider a soft core porn trying to pretend to be a movie cobbled together shot really poorly acted very poorly nothing makes sense it's just a mess from start to finish i think in my little notes while i was watching it i either said wtf or literally wrote the full words what the fuck several times as this thing was going for 90 minutes if it wasn't for million dollar duck easily the worst thing we've watched maybe the full two years yeah this is definitely on that same level i don't think anything about about this movie works i don't think it's made well i don't think it's acted well i don't think it's shot well it's not written well nothing about this movie works for me on any level the one positive thing i can say about this movie is i like rock hudson's voice <laughs> You caught me. That's my positive thing about this. I think that he could literally read me anything and be like, oh, yes, keep keep talking to me, Mr. Yes, Hudson. I suppose there could be some We'll probably get hate mail because apparently Tarantino is telling all his fanboys that this is a good movie. I would love to hear that argument for this movie because I the do not understand. Is teenage girls are naked having sex with older men. Okay. And that's what the entire movie is about. Okay. But Dave, here's the thing. You, you mentioned about you being a prude. And I think that is actually true. Get off my lawn. I'm all down to be horrible. Horny. I'm all down for it. I think the example I give in our episode is The Matrix. There's nothing like especially graphic in The Matrix as far as sex is concerned other than Keanu Reeves is hot, Carrie Ann Moss is hot, they're in like tight leather, the Rakowskis have been on record as saying like part of the reason is that we wanted people to be like, oh, I'm kind of turned on by these people in here. I adore that. I want that in more movies. Looking at you, Marvel. This is nothing of that. There's no eroticism in this movie ever. The plot barely makes any sense of like why they are doing what they're choosing to do why rock hudson's character is so concerned about this one teenager's boner like i don't get it everyone should be embarrassed for being in this movie because none of it works and you have great actors in this rock hudson angie dickinson telly savalas Rodney mcdowell you are all talented i know all of you are dead i think at this point but all of you should be embarrassed for having appeared in this movie because you're good and none of your talents are put to use here. It's just bad. It's bad in every Here's way. Here's the craziest thing is that this was penned by Gene Roddenberry. Oh, right. Of Star Trek fame. That's yeah, right. the guy who created Star His Trek. His only movie he ever wrote this was shit. this it's movie. unbelievable. This is such a bad... This is such a bad period. I'm done. It's, it's such a bad. bad. We have a short episode here this week because there's only so many times you can say this thing is bad. We do get into a little bit about talking about sexploitation at the oh, time, yeah, right. how this fits into Gene Roddenberry's career, the director's career, Roger Vadim. Vadim? Sure. I feel like I'm... Uh, I hate when I forget names. John Travolta trying to say Idina Menzel's name at the Oscars and just butchering it every time I try and say his name. We don't watch the Oscars. It's so hilarious. This movie is bad. Um, don't watch it. And there's not much more I can say about it. We do try and fill it out a little bit, but we're going to promise you better content going forward. Well, we can't <laughs> actually I'm sure there's some better that, movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the machine is... But we will watch better movies yeah. overall. We can, we can watch yeah. better movies. Like yeah. last week's Fingers Clute. crossed. It's not like we're recording these out of out yeah, of order at all. That. So hopefully, yes, Clute last week was yeah. great. Excellent. I yeah. liked it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll find out soon. <laughs> Podcasts available anywhere you get podcasts. Of course, you can like, comment, subscribe here. Let us know down in the comments what you thought about Pretty Maids all in a row if you've actually seen it. See you again next week. Just to put it out there because we'll get hate mail for this. It's getting a resurgence oh. on Letterboxd. It's a 3.2 which shouldn't be possible. But on Rotten Tomatoes what was it again? 8%. That's correct. I, I would agree with that. 8. <laughs> An 8 out of 100. <laughs> Alright, let's stop talking about this piece of shit. Hi, coach. Say, John, would you mind turning off that light? Too bad about the dead cheerleader in the second floor, John. 